And you're up. Well, good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We've got the cartoon. We've got the rhino. We've got a beer from Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland, to be exact. 9% alcohol. Another big beer. It is classified as an Uber. And I'm not even making this shit up. It's an Uber. It's got the two Abigail. dots and everything. Like, Ooh, the umlaut? Uber! It's got an umlaut. It is. It's got the dots. The Heavy Seas Mutiny Fleet Holy Sheet. Holy Sheet! It's a holy sheet. Anyway, to read this stuff out, the Mutiny Fleet was... <laughs> oh, fuck, here we go. Was birthed. And by birth, they say B-E-R-T-H-E-D, you know, like boat birth. birthed. <laughs> by Heavy Seas Brewers, who were discovered secretly brewing small batches of big beers to amuse the palates of their fellow crew. Since most secrets are best kept bottled up, we're bringing you this big flavor, extraordinary <laughs> brew in 22 ounce bottles. They really do spell that out. Yeah, look, arrgh, yeah, Fair enough. Embrace your inner pirate and join the mutiny. Grab a line or be swept overboard. Uh, 1.6 fluid ounces. Holy sheet. Holy sheet, indeed. I'm about to be swept overboard, I think. I love this bottle for the name, the explanation, the graphics, everything about this. And the cap. Pretty fucking awesome. Oh, the pirate oh, cap? Show yeah. it. Because I know you're all about, you, you hate the blank caps. Uh, that's, tilt it down a little bit. That's a fantastic cap. It's pretty faint, though. Uh, twist a bit. It's called crossbones and whatnot. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, let's drink this heavy seas beer from Baltimore, Maryland. I hope I don't get seasickness. The Uber Abbey Ale. Uber. Side note before you care to edit this out. Uh, did you give your uh, wife money for... Look at that, my boy. Wow. Um, that's a beautiful color. Nice, very dark red color. Nice head. Ooh. That's way more floral than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, it is an Uber beer. Yeah. That was... Huh. Holy shit. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How long did you think it was going to take? Really? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I figured you would write about meow. <laughs> very floral. Husband. Very multi. <laughs> wow. It does have a very yeasty character to it. It does have that uh, Abbey Ale smell. Hmm. I'm a little scared. No real legs on the head, though. No? It's just kind of hanging out. Yeah. Mm. A little viscosity on mine, but not too too much. Not the greatest viscosity I've seen, but it still. looks kind of creamy, like meringue. It's shiny. I like shiny. I like shiny too. Yeah. I collect shiny things. Uh, Look at my fridge. Anyway. <laughs> it does taste like a very strong Abbey ale. I just, hang on. You know, they should have classified this as a pirate ale. Yeah, <clears throat> for two reasons. One, because the label's pretty wicked. Also, um, I think we discovered another beer that tastes a good bunch like rum. It does. It does taste a good bit like rum. Yeah. A bunch of, it's the yeast in it, though, that I think gives it that taste. Um, it has some dark fruit. It has a lot of yeast, it has a lot of malt, and it does have a bitterness at the finish, but the bitterness is kind of cut because you get a lot of alcoholic warming. 9% alcohol, so it's not like it isn't alcoholic, but it is more warming than I would have expected from a 9% alcohol beer. Uh, it's a lot like most of the triples you can find. That's a motherfucking strong beer. 
even taste like one. Good God. The flavors are great, but I'm just getting such an alcohol back on it. And it's, look at the, look at the, it's got a pleasant warming, but then you taste that, like, alcohol astringency on the end. It's, um, kind of, kind of bumming me out. Hmm. You're right, it does taste really, really good at the forefront. And then once that forefront fades, you're left to the alcoholic warming, which you're still okay with. But after a few seconds of the alcoholic warming, you're left with just a kind of dirty alcohol taste. I mean, I could really see this being exactly what they describe it as being. Mm. A pirate beer on a pirate ship. Oh, it's a bit rough. Yeah, yeah for sure. And it's, and it's, you drink it to, you know, for the, the effect and it tastes a bit like what you're used to and all that. I get it, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I've drank a whole shitload of Belgium triples. And this does taste a lot like a Belgium triple, a nice, extra strong Belgium ale. And talking about this, I'd just like to mention, and Boychuk met this guy, Grandillo Chris, or Chris as me and Boychuk know him, doesn't seem to have a YouTube page anymore, he kind of deleted it. I only found this out because I was on my, my channel looking at my subscribers, and my little spot that shows the other beer reviewers that I really like, his name was gone. And I kind of missed the guy already, even though, uh, you know, he didn't have all that many subscribers. But you know what? He was a really good, cool guy. Hey, Boychuk? Yep. Yep, see? Boychuk just gave his, his statistical name. His yep. His yep. That's, that's what he says, yep. Yep! No, he's not Dave Hester from Storage Wars. Yeah, I got that reference. Anyway. Well, then, to Chris. Indeed. What would you give this out of 10? <laughs> if you notice, I did that on purpose, too. Ha! <laughs> it didn't happen. I gotta clean the fucking table again? No, I just did. Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know now not to lick it. Thank, you know, like, uh, thanks for everybody warning me first, but uh, yeah, you know, I took one for the team. Big whoop. Now you guys know if you come here, don't look at the table. Got it. Um, out of 10, as a strong beer, um, going into it with, with a wicked name and the description and everything. Yeah, I mean, like, it is It is that. Um, it's pretty fantastic. It's got rummy qualities. It's got boozy qualities and all sorts of delicious maltiness and all that stuff. It's just, um, it's a bit harsh for me to give it a really, really high rating. I'd stop looking that way. I don't like it. I'm trying to talk here. I'm simple. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I, I, think I, I think I can give this a 7. Um, uh, combining the strong beer and, and, as, and as any kind of beer. Um, I, can, I can do a 7 because uh, I, would, I would definitely buy it if I saw it because it's a whole shit ton of fun. And um, I, the only reason I couldn't go any higher is because uh, it didn't make me say shiver my timbers when I fucking drank it. I was I was kind of expecting it to and it didn't. Um, sorry guys, you know, uh, good job and all, but uh, um, there will be no timber shivering. Seven it is. Well, I'm going to go with a seven as well, and I wasn't thinking shivering my timbers, I was thinking making you walk the plank, but uh, neither happened, so seven out of ten for me for the Heavy Seas Brewing Company. Well, Clipper City Brewing Company with a heavy seas uh, line. <laughs> Holy shit! Strong beer. Thank you for watching. It's an Uber beer. <laughs> oh, I keep Uber. Fucking... Yeah, Uber. 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 Seven out of ten from both of us. Thank you for watching. Bye. Uber husband. <laughs>